Good afternoon, everybody. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to stand up for me. And just greet the next the person sitting right to your right and say, Jesus loves you and so do I. Do the same thing with the person to your left. in any way possible. If you can cook, cook something for us that we can serve. If you have money, then donate some money so we can serve some food to, that, food to the poor. And if you have a barbecue, we're going to ask that you would bring it for us. We'll make sure that, we'll make sure that there is something constantly cooking on it. And so we're going to ask you to join us June 11th, actually at the Salvation Army on Higgins in Maine. Is that correct, my brother? Higgins and Maine. The program will start at 11 o'clock, and actually the young people are actually going to have their service there, their Sabbath service there. A young man is actually going to be speaking at, to the homeless at that particular moment, and we're hoping that we can rejoice in the Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen. So come and join us that particular day, begin June 11th, from 11 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have to apologize because... I have uh, many quotes and I wanted you to see them. And unfortunately, my PowerPoint crashed uh, just this morning. And so I'm going to actually have to use an old PowerPoint that I'm actually going to have to get into and right away. So I want you to pray for me as I'm actually speaking up here because this message is a sensitive one uh, for many people. And, and so I really want to have your prayers with me this afternoon. I'll try to make it quick. I hope you don't get tired on me. And by the way, for the last few days, I've had, I think one of the days, I had three hours of sleep. My daughter decided to wake up. First thing in the morning, couldn't go back to sleep. So I decided to read the Bible. And uh, I was up for the rest of the day. So if I fall flat on my face, no, I'm not catching the spirit. I'm just tired. Okay? So I'm going to need somebody to revive me. Now, it was my first camp meeting. I had been baptized, actually, that particular fall, and I'll never forget, a friend of mine was ranting and raving about candy. He was saying, Dave, you have to go because it's the greatest thing. I mean, you have speakers who are full of the Holy Spirit. And not only that, he says, you have to go because the place is a beautiful place and you can relax. What he failed to share was that you were so busy running back and forth from workshop to workshop that you don't relax. But as we're in a camp meeting, Everybody set up their tent. I love tenting. And I used to love tenting, should I say, until my wife came into my life. <laughs> and she said, uh-uh, we're not going tenting. No more. And so we ended up getting a trailer. And so I remember that we're setting up the tents, and everybody actually was having a good old time. The day was sunny. It was actually quite a warm day, and so we're all rejoicing in the Lord, having a good old time singing and praising the Lord. And as we're walking on the road, we look up, and we just happen to notice an odd-shaped cloud just appear. I don't know. It looked like an egg. And out of nowhere, another cloud appears just exactly the same as that particular cloud. And all of a sudden, the wind started to pick up. And it picked up even more. Everybody in the campsite didn't really pay attention to it. And somebody stops me and says, you know, I live in Kansas, they said, and that particular cloud only appears in certain particular moments. Right away, my, she got my attention. 
And so another cloud appears, and so forth and so forth. But what we didn't know, that there was a, a storm approaching. And the wind picked up. It had its way with the trees. I stood by watching as the clouds began to gather and gather. I stood by watching as the tents began to move back and forth. The elements began to dispute. The mighty wind dictated its route now. And the sky shouted with its thunder. You see, there was a storm approaching. The trees were wrestling in the wind. And not only that, garbage was being tossed back and forth. Stop signs now were shaking and birds were throwing to and fro. There was a storm approaching and the windows of the trailers were now vibrating. There was a storm approaching and anything that could be shaken would be shaken. Anything that could be uprooted and was not well firmed and founded on the foundation was going to be removed. Anything that was not app applied to a heavy weight. My sister had warned me about the Alberta violent storms. But I didn't expect this. I watched as the winds brutally ripped the branches, shook the signs, and beat the buildings, and people alike. You had believer and non-believer running to and fro at camp meeting, hoping to get a shade and shelter, putting their trust on human-made things, not calling on Jesus. But you see, the storm was unlike anything I've seen before. I've seen floods, and I've seen rivers over, go over the banks and destroy homes and lives. I watch the sky get darker now until it overtook the entire site. You see, like any other man, whether you believe or not, I began to pray. But I didn't close my eyes. I didn't go down on my knees. I was concerned of what I was witnessing. I was concerned at the wind that was actually picking up now. Like any other man, people run to and fro trying to get to a shelter. The storm was determined to have its way through its path. You see, and it began to rain, the most amazing thing for me that I've seen in Canada, that it began to rain, and I'll never forget this, the rain actually started to change into ice. It started changing into hail. And it started with marble-sized hail. And then it moved into golf-sized hail. And with no time whatsoever, it moved into baseball-sized hail. It was a storm like I've never seen before. And anything that could be shaken, would be shaken. Anything that was not fasted on the rock. Anything that didn't have a good foundation would be removed. The storm began to shake the building. Nobody was interested in the movies now. Nobody was looking for a TV any longer. There was absolutely no one looking for a radio, looking to, to see what the score of the game was. Anybody was asking questions, what is going on? The storm tested everything that was strong. The storm tested everything that it could shake. The storm was coming. Church, I'm here to tell you that there was a storm coming. Any man who's not founded on Jesus Christ, the rock, you will be shaped. You will be tried. You will be removed. I want you to pray with me now. And we'll get into the Word of God. 
Father, I plead with you at this moment for your grace. Help me. Luke chapter 6, verse 46.